Yeah, so hi guys, welcome to PCF. Okay, in our previous video, so we already uh, discussed about the ANSI L trim and R trim, uppercase, lowercase, length, reverse, left and right. Okay, so till here we covered in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, so just uh, watch that video. So again, I'm covering here also. So ANSI means, okay, so if, if you go here in the table section, if you expand the table, any table, okay, PCF email, something like that. Okay, sorry. In uh, in sample database, in programmability, if you go here, programmability. So in programmability, there is a functions. Okay, function section is there. So you can uh, go to function section. So there is a two types of functions. Okay, uh, user defined functions and system defined functions. Okay, this is the user defined functions. Okay, you can click on sorry system defined functions. Okay, we already covered the aggregate functions. Okay. And uh, now we are discussing about the string function. The string functions I have already covered yesterday, a few of them. Okay, ANSI means just it will give the suppose ANSI number for okay. Suppose if you take this, okay, so just enter it. Okay, right select. Suppose you want to know the what is ANSI number for small a or capital A, okay, something like that. So you can go with okay. A double uh, double quotes or single quotes you can specify the a in that quotes and then you can bring okay so just select it okay it will give the ANSI number 65 okay suppose you want to print total a to z okay then you have to write a declare a variable and then so 65 again if you you have to add the 26 so that uh, from the from 65 to uh, 26 again if you add the 65 and plus 26 it will be something uh, 91 81 or 91 something like that okay it will add okay from there it will you can print some capital a to capital z okay if you want to um, see the small a okay small a ANSI code so you can write a small a and then you can see the what is the ANSI code for small a that is 97 again you want to print that okay it will give the code of that um, characters okay that character that is ANSI. Okay, so if you go to this one, L trim. Okay, L trim means suppose you have a spaces. Okay, you have a character. So let me go here. Something like that. Okay, it will trim from left side. Okay, any spaces you have, so it will trim something like that. Okay, select. Okay, so this one space 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 something A B C D. Okay, so this time it will give the space. Okay, if you execute it, okay, it will give the three spaces left side. Okay. If you observe that, okay. If you want to remove that, L trim, L T R I M trim, and then close, and then close case, okay. It will trim the left side, no spaces, without spaces, okay. That is L trim, and right trim means, okay. Some take this one only, okay. Take this one only. Just you can uh, remove this extra spaces here and keep it right side, okay. Keep it right side. So instead, um, instead of L trim, you can specify R trim, okay? R trim and it will. So, so first of all, if you want to know, okay, whether it is working, uh, so the spaces are coming or not, okay? So just to go here and then remove R trim and then select it, okay? Whether it's giving the right side spaces or not, okay? Just see that, okay? It's giving some extra spaces, okay? So if you want to R trim, okay, if you don't want any extra spaces right side, then you can go, okay, you can take a copy. So whether it has the spaces or not, okay. So when you execute it, and then if you take a copy, the cursor is not immediately after ABC, okay. So see, three spaces are there, one, two, three, okay. Hope you understand, okay, what is L trim and R trim, okay. So that is L trim and R trim. Okay, so in our previous video, I have already explained. Okay, it will convert the uppercase and it will convert. Okay, if you give some string, it will convert into upper. It will, if you give some string, it will convert into lowercase and it will give the length of the given string. Suppose welcome. Okay, suppose there is a welcome. Okay, in double quotes, there is a welcome. Okay, what is the length of that string? Okay, what is the length of that string? So you can uh, length, okay, something length you can specify, it will give the answer. Okay, it will give the answer, execute it. So the length of the string, it, it will give the length. Okay, it will give the length, okay. That we already discussed in our previous video. Reverse also, it will reverse. Okay, left means 
so how many characters you want to extract from left side okay right means how many characters you want to extract from right okay the welcome is there okay so from welcome i want to uh, extract left characters left characters 3 okay so you can specify the numbers okay 3 or 2 suppose anything okay so from given characters you want to extract how many characters three characters means what is the answer this one okay so like that you can go and then you can execute okay it will get that okay if you want right is quite opposite from right side it will from right side it will bring actually so four seven then it will go with the four characters okay from right side okay one two three four something like that it will get okay that is about the so yesterday we discussed now substring substring means substring also it will extract the characters but a different way okay so if you go to the syntax okay substring syntax okay where is the substring so here is the substring okay if you go to the substring syntax what are the parameters you have to provide expression okay expression starting position and length expression means the text okay which you want to provide okay something um okay so we'll take this um, email okay so this will take some something email okay any email okay Srinivas okay at the rate pcf.com is there okay Srinivas at the rate pcf.com is there so I want to bring only okay pcf.com okay I want to uh, extract from here okay pcf.com okay so what is the length of Srinivas sri six seven eight and this one nine okay so from tenth position from tenth position how many and seven okay from tenth to seven characters i want to bring okay so write substring okay substring select this sorry substring okay substring and open bracket so we have given expression comma starting position from where from okay so three again three six seven eight nine okay and from tenth to seven okay from tenth to seven you can specify and then you can extract it okay you can extract it so that is the substring okay it will extract the okay you can specify the position and then how many number of characters you want okay starting position and how many <coughs> how many characters you want to bring so that will bring the substring okay that will bring the substring okay suppose suppose kamal at the rate pcf is there okay suppose uh, so i want to bring only the domains okay domain part i want to bring but so if the email length is not uh, same right email length is not same okay so in that case okay so suppose uh, kamal at the rate pcf.com okay so if i if I specify same tenth and substring, okay. So if I grow here and if I if I copy from year to year, okay. So that means hard coding will not work perfectly, okay. So from each email ID, from each email ID, I want to bring this domain, okay. Whatever the domain is there, so that I want to bring, okay. In that case, okay. In that situation, how we will bring that, okay? How you will bring that, okay? Suppose go here and then execute this one okay here we have the pcf power bi pcf.com is there sql pcf.com is there okay so from this i want to power bi pcf.com and sql pcf.com a separate section okay for that we have one more uh, uh, you know one more uh, text function is there that is car index okay if you go here the car index will give the position where we have this suppose i want to find the position of this uh, at the rate okay I want to find the position of at the rate. So you can go here and then you can find the position of at the rate. Okay. So given string. Okay. You can go to the care index. Okay. So ch this one. Okay. And if you see the parameters, what you will have to so search expression. Okay. And express to be searched and starting position. So suppose something like that. Okay. So if I go here and then select email. Okay. Email from email from tbl tbl pcf email.com okay so tbl pcf emails, okay so just select that okay if i execute it i want to only see the the position of at the rate okay why i want to see the 
position of header. It will see, okay, care index, care index, close bracket. Okay, this is the, wh what you want to search, you can specify, okay. I want to search the at the rate, right? So you can specify the at the rate and then you can close it, okay. It will give the position, okay. It will give the position where we have that, okay. Where we have the at the rate, okay. So you want to see the email, okay. So email, comma. So in each email address, what is the position of that? at the rate okay why i'm seeing this and all will will let you know okay so for this it's a ninth position for this it's a tenth position for this it's a sixth position so something like that it's giving the position okay so whatever the character you are searching in a okay <clears throat> in a, so this is the text string and there you are searching this where is this character something like that okay that is care index care index will search the value in a given string okay so, so care index will give the such the okay so my main goal is so anyhow so you want to find that okay you want to find the so you want to bring the separate domain right so now so you can take a copy and then we'll go to the next one so <clears throat> so you know the length right so so from total length i want to minus this uh, care index okay so the position okay so substring so the substring will bring the suppose this is the substring right so you want to uh, suppose um, email id and then you want to give the position okay what is the starting position and how many characters you want okay that we have to bring okay so we have we our main goal is to bring the uh, domain.com okay this domain.com right so now you can go with the select okay email from this employee table okay so now if you execute it it will bring the total email address from here, I want to bring the separate domain, okay, domain separately, okay. So you can go with the substring, okay, substring, open bracket, so email, okay, email, comma. So what is the starting position of this at the rate, okay, this at the rate, okay, you can go here and then you can specify the care index, okay, and you can close it okay it will specify the okay substring and substring what is the syntax of substring so starting position comma length okay what is the length okay right so it will give only the position of this um, you know so at the rate so uh, i don't want this from this okay i want from the next position immediate next position after at the rate right so i will add plus one here okay it will give the next position and then i can close it okay so for this okay so not this one so again you can go here and then what you want to add so the length okay so the length right so what is the length okay so for now total length okay i'm writing the just enter and for here i'm writing total length of email okay total length of email and why i'm writing i will explain you guys okay total email length minus minus this care index okay this care index email okay so we are minusing this one okay so that will dynamically it will uh, for each email okay it will uh, for each email it will identify the length from there okay it will minusing this care index care index means so from here it will be minus okay so it will only bring the this one okay so let me close this. Okay, you will understand what it will bring. Okay, I will explain afterwards. Okay, just execute it. See, so it's bringing the only domain, guys. Okay, so you can rename it as a domain. Okay, so whatever you want to write it, so you can write it as a domain. Okay, so as domain. Okay, you got it, right? So just I'm, I will explain one more time. 
So just I will explain one more time. Okay. So char index means okay. So char index means where the at the rate symbol is there, it will search. Okay, but I don't want at the rate symbol. Okay, I want to start immediately after at the rate. That is the reason I have added the okay. I have added the plus one. Okay, substring means what? So what? So what is the starting position? Okay, so the expression comma starting position and and the length, right? So it will give the starting position. Okay, it will from here it will give the starting position and the length. Okay, you want to see the next immediate length. Okay, so that is the reason. So I am taking total length of email and minusing the char index. Okay, so minusing the minus minusing the char index. So it will for each email address it will take the length and then it will do the minus. So that is the reason we are getting only the mine. Okay. Hope you understand this one. Okay. Hope you understand this one. Okay. So okay. Yes. okay. If you don't understand that, okay, let me explain here one more time. Okay. So let me explain. Okay, how that brings. Okay. So if you see, okay, I have written, I have selected the email and then length of email and then character index. Okay. So just we'll go here and then if you if you execute it, if you execute it. So if you see the um, email okay that email length is total length is 23 so from there you want to remove minus 9 okay just to, so as for this okay so as for this so we just we have to remove this nine characters right just to write a, this one also here okay then it will give the domain okay so it will give the domain so minus 14 okay so 14 okay after um, removing from 23 if you remove the 9 so you are getting length 14 okay so what is the length 14 okay so these are the, okay so from 9 okay it, from here it will it has um, uh, removed so after that uh, remains okay it will remains only this one so that is the reason the domain will bring me to here that's the reason the domain will bring here okay so again so for the next one so this is total 20 characters so in 20 characters if you do the minus 10 so it will remains again this domain okay so like that you can go and then you can see that that is the char index char index and the substring <coughs> char index and substring you can do like that and what is the next one the pat index we'll see the next one okay next video and for now we can go with the replicate and replace okay replicate i will explain okay pat index and replace and space we'll see the next okay a replicate means it will uh, give the okay uh, it will uh, so just pcf is there okay suppose pcf is there okay how many times you want to uh, repeat okay how many times you want to repeat that is a replicate base okay how many times you want to print that pcf letter okay so that is a replicate okay if you go here and then if you see expression okay go to the parameter and the expression and okay the brick expression number okay so you can specify the number okay you can go to uh, replicate okay replicate okay and so that is the pcf case okay here i will select only PCF. okay how many times you want to replicate suppose three times okay you can go here and then you can select the replicate and then just execute okay it, it will print three times okay it's just selecting three times replicate means so suppose you have a suppose account id okay suppose uh, you can you want you have a account number one two three four five six seven eight okay comma if suppose you want to replace okay so you can go with the replace okay so not uh replicate okay you can go with the uh, replace replace or substitute okay so replicate okay you can use the replicate here and then okay so the number of characters how many do you want to replicate something like that so you whenever you want to do the mask okay we will i will explain the replace and substitute uh, tomorrow so there i will explain how to mask and all okay so for now so this video is very lengthy so that is the reason i am stopping okay hope you understand the characters and the um, uh, string functions so far okay hope you like the video okay please uh, share and subscribe for more videos case okay for on um, msbi and power bi and all Okay, so please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed. Okay, thank you.